So we will focus on Orlistat, a gastrointestinal lipase inhibitor that leads to excretion of ingested fat, decreasing the body's fat absorption. Orlistat is a saturated derivative of lipstatin, which is a natural inhibitor of pancreatic lipases from the bacterium Streptomyces tioxytricini. Within the gastrointestinal tract, fatty acids must first be released from triglycerides before they can be used as an energy source. Gastric lipase is responsible for catalyzing the hydrolysis of triglycerides, releasing fatty acids for beta oxidation. By binding to the active serine site on lipases, Orlistat prevents the hydrolysis of dietary triglycerides into glycerols and fatty acids, reducing the absorption of dietary fat. All lipase enzymes essentially carry out the same function of digesting dietary fats into smaller molecules, especially fatty acids and glycerol. The main source of lipase in your GI or gastrointestinal tract is your pancreas that makes pancreatic lipase that acts in your small intestine. After Utilizing the conversion of triglycerides to fatty acids and glycerol, these products then travel in blood to reach all parts of your body. Lipases are enzymes secreted by the pancreas and are used to reduce the activity of lipids found in the intestine. Thus, if a drug inhibits this enzyme, the absorption of fat would decline. Instead of being used as caloric energy, the fat is now excreted in the feces. In a 2000 study by Hoopteman et al., the long-term efficacy and tolerability of Orlistat for the treatment of obesity was analyzed. This was a randomized, double-blind study that observed 796 obese patients treated with placebo, 60 mg of Orlistat, TID, or 120 mg of Orlistat three times a day. The experiment also required participants to consume a diet that was energy-reduced for the first year, a diet that consisted of energy derived from 30% fat. 50% carbohydrates and 20% proteins, and a diet that maintained weight for the second year. Prescribed energy intake was increased for those still losing weight and maintained for those with a stable weight. Patients were also encouraged to increase their physical activity. Every two weeks for the first month, every four weeks until the year mark, and every eight weeks until the end of the second year, body weight was measured. Experimenters also measured serum lipid levels, fasting serum glucose, and insulin levels, blood pressure, and waist circumference. Patients treated with Orlistat were found to lose significantly more weight during the first year and sustained more of the weight loss in the second year compared to the placebo. More patients in the experimental group lost 5% of their weight in the first year compared to the placebo, and approximately 34% of the patients in the Orlistat group sustained a weight loss of 5% over the two years compared to the 24% in the placebo group. This study proves that this weight loss pill is an effective treatment of obesity. This table shows body weight changes during the lead-in period and the two years of the test for the placebo group and both experimental groups. It includes those who completed the study for one year represented under the intent to treat or ITT groups as well as those who completed a full two years of the study under the completer groups. Weight loss during the four-week placebo lead-in was similar across all groups. Both experimental groups experienced a significantly greater weight loss than the placebo at all points during the two years. The largest decrease in weight was in the 120 mg group. After the first year of this experiment, the percentage of weight loss from initial body weight was 7.9% for the 120 mg of Orlistat in comparison to the 4.2% for the placebo. This also shows that maintenance of weight loss in the second year on an increased energy diet was also significantly better in both dosage receiving groups, resulting in a significant difference from placebo until the end of the study at 104 weeks. This graph looks at the percentage of individuals in a group that lost more than 5% of their initial body weight in the first year. In the placebo group, we can see that only 30.7% of the patients lost more than 5% of their body weight. This was in comparison to the two Orlistat groups that had 48.8% and 50.5% of their group members lost more than 5% of their body weight. Looking at the second set of bars in the graph, a smaller percentage of the patients in the placebo group maintained this weight loss after two years in comparison to the Orlistat groups. In the placebo, 24.1 maintain this weight loss. In the experimental groups, 33.8 and 34.3 maintain this loss. Overall, although patients in all three groups regained some of the weight during the second year, this weight was greater in the placebo group than in both Orlistat groups. Additionally, the 120 mg dosage was found to be significantly more effective. This proves that Orlistat is capable of producing an energy deficiency that subsequently leads to a decrease in weight. It was also found to change total and LDL cholesterol levels and the LDL-HDL ratio. Through other studies, like the one conducted by Yimbowski in 2013, this drug has been found to decrease the risk of acquiring cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes.